So, my name is Roy Trivedi. I am the UN Resident Coordinator in Timor Leste, and it's great to be with you today. Uh, let me start by just saying a little bit about why this conversation that we're having today is so important. This year is the 75th anniversary of the United Nations. The United Nations, of course, was formed after the Second World War, and many, many things have changed worldwide over the last 75 years. And this year, as part of the 75th anniversary, the Secretary General of the United Nations has committed our organization to really reach out to everybody, regardless of who they are, where they are, people from all backgrounds, women, men, people with disabilities, everybody to ask their views on the way in which the United Nations can serve better the people of the world. This year, of course, we all know about many complex challenges that the world faces. We've had changes like climate change, we've had bushfires in Australia and so on. And it is now a time when the United Nations needs to also look a little bit inwardly to say, what do we need to do differently to make ourselves more relevant and effective to help the world to solve the problems, complex problems that the world faces. Today, we're reaching out particularly to students and I would like to say a little bit about our work in, in the education sector. And the issue of education, of course, is, is hugely important. It's important because worldwide, we know that often the route for many people out of poverty or vulnerability is through the education system. The more people are educated, they manage to find better jobs, they get better training, they go on to do different things, and it changes education, we know, changes not just things for the individual, but it can also change things for people's families, their communities, and so on. So the big, the one big challenge is how do we ensure that at least everybody of school going age, but also adults, have the possibility of attending some kind of schooling, formal education system, etc. And that is one big challenge. How do we actually ensure that education is relevant for people's lives and that it can provide them with that pathway of learning and developing as individuals. Second big challenge is how do we make education relevant for people so that they see that it is a tool which they can, they want to be part of, that they want to engage in and so on. So we need to make schools, education systems, formal institutions easy to access so that everybody would want to go and learn and so on. These are, these are challenges that the United Nations system, through organizations like UNICEF, UNESCO, are already working with governments and with other and the private sector to address how do we make education relevant, accessible, and easy for people to attend and so on. There's another element of the education puzzle, and which is also very important here. And this is to do with the fact that education is often linked to a whole range of other things. So for example, we know that if we want to try and prevent girls particularly dropping out of education because of early, early marriage and so on, the longer that they attend schools, the longer it delays the idea of early marriage in many countries. And it enables girls and men and boys as well, then if they go through an education system to make better choices for themselves, better choices about their careers, better choices about their lifestyles and so on. So this is another very important part of why education sits centrally in terms of the other we have 17 sustainable development goals and education is one of those goals, goal number four, which links up to many other of the goals, sustainable development goals. 
that the world and world leaders have committed to achieve by 2030. So our work on education, formal and informal, uh, which also includes vocational training, things like skills, skills to be carpenters or skills for the world that, that we are living in, also needs to, needs, is linked with all of these goals. And the goals are important because if we want to create a better world for all in the next 10 years, this is the decade of action that we all need to get behind as individuals, as governments, as institutions and so on, and really help the world achieve its full potential. So I hope that these thoughts will help you as you begin your discussions today with colleagues from the United Nations system uh, in Australia. Thank you.